And now, here is the life and report of the past, present, and future. The man to whom the news wouldn't be the news without the news, here's Dickie. <laughs> May the good fairy sprinkle stardust on your bippy. <laughs> Former Vice President Richard M. Nixon announced today he will go anywhere at any time to meet with anyone if it will help bring about peace between him and his makeup man from the 1960 debates. <laughs> Today, an emerging African nation acquired its first nuclear-powered aircraft carrier, which they are now hammering into millions of spearheads. <laughs> George Jessel's marriage to a teenager was canceled today when he learned the bride-to-be was his former granddaughter by a previous mother. <laughs> a leading toy manufacturer of dolls today put on sale a pill suggested for children who plan to buy a Ken doll for their Barbie. <laughs> and now, take it away. As oh no, I did it again. Go ahead. And now laugh and looks at the news of the future as we present the news of the past, present, and future. So here in the future is Don. No, that's Dan Goldie. That's Dan Goldie. <laughs> oh, that's fine. Yes. Detroit, 1988. 20 years from now, General Motors executives met today at the bargaining table to discuss union leader Walter Ruther's demands for a one-day work week. While across town, Ruther, representing the Union Welfare Fund, purchased General Motors. <laughs> Washington, D.C., 1988, 20 years from now, the national birth control law, which has been in effect for the past 15 years, was finally repealed today, and it is expected soon many husbands will return to their wives. <laughs> Also from Washington, D.C., 1988, 20 years from now, the president addressed a joint session of Congress today and spelled out the terms of the recently negotiated peace. The speech received mixed reactions from the nation's governors, while Governor Goldwater of Arizona termed it a surrender to the far left. It was hardly endorsed by Governor Ho Chi Minh of California, Hawaii, and Canada. <laughs> Nancy Dickerson, NBC News, Washington. It's a quiet night here, just outside the White House. President Johnson has retired after his speech tonight, in which he stated firmly that he had struck an agreement with the Red Chinese government, in which the communist leaders have pledged not to interfere in any way with the internal workings of the United States. That's it from Nancy Dickerson here outside the White House. Tonight, we take you to the campaign headquarters of Mrs. Mary Knight, who is at this moment awaiting the results of today's primary. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to thank you all for being here tonight. The polls will be closing in 20 minutes, and at this time, I feel confident enough to concede. Oh, no. <laughs> With 20,000 ballots already counted, I have concluded my seven votes is not enough to get us over the top. <laughs> but I have learned the rules of the game, and I will be back. No! no! <laughs>